evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. The famous cop is in good voice as always. It is one of the most recognisable monuments of the English game. Liverpool have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. So that's got things on the way. Jordan Henderson, Robertson, Rhodes. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Rhodes. Mohamed Salah. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Looking for space out wide. That is terrific skill. Gets the chance to cross. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Now it's Mane. Boots it to safety. And out to safety. Chance to shoot. Can he score? Liverpool score first. Well, it was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. Liverpool take the early advantage. First quarter of an hour gone. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Plays it out to the flank, hoists it high, cut out in the nick of time. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Now it's Roberto Firmino. And it's Mane. Look at the defender bombing forward. Knocks it away. Norwich have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but... What's they thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. There's a long ball, played into space out wide. Wijnaldum looks to thread it through, and he just whacks it away. Last ditch defending, but that'll do.
And it's Salah. Mohamed Salah tries to stroke it through. And that's sprayed out wide. Away from immediate danger. Vineldum floats one over. And that's been levered clear. Closer, boots it to safety. Has a hit! And still, Firmino hits it! Over to the left. And it's got through. Hits one! They've done it! Oh, that is a late call, but it's the right one. Yeah, the assistant called it correctly. There's some disagreement, as usual, but they've got it right. Disappointments and relief on either side. Nothing doing. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Liverpool come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting, and there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. Already up and running for the second half. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Looking for a decent ball. In with a header! It's anyone's ball. Rhodes. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Henderson tries lifting it over. Knocks it away. Tries his luck. That is gorgeous! Oh, that is a gem! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Uh, deflection may or may not have made a difference. Little matter, it is his. Liverpool get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Rhodes. And he's straight offside. His anticipation is good, Peter, but his timing isn't. He read the situation and then went and spoiled it. Fabinho does well to read it and intercepts. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get it. Going for goal! Jarvis can hoist it clear. Now a chance to break. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Deftly done. Krull sends that a long way. Out to the left it goes. To throw. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. 
Yeah, and having notched a goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulder as, as much as he'll want. Well, here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Now it's Oliveira. Going through. Well, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Pushes it out wide. He's picked him out. Nicely controlled. Lobs it in gently. Swept, goes for goal. It's in! Norwich produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch. And importantly, it is a strong end product. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. He's had a go! Danger averted for now. Jarvis battles to win it back. Tries to get it forward quickly. A really good feat. The ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Jarvis crosses in a low one. Aimed long and direct. Norwich have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Almost there, and the players can feel it. The final whistle. Liverpool come out on top. Hard fought, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered. Your reflections then, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap in the quality of both squads, and, and the story was told in predictable fashion.